Hi, my name is Cheng Li. I'm currently a PhD candidate in Rutgers University Industrial and System Engineering Department. And, and I'm here to present the, the poster, a source, uh, Sustainable Waste to Energy Passes. And in this paper, we tend to analyze the benefit of using the food waste and the manure to produce the biofertilizer and the biogas in New Jersey. And uh, we are including four energy, uh, waste energy treatment systems, including the direct combustion and the landfilling, composting, and the anaerobic digestion. And uh, the four different uh, technologies were simulated by the different data that we captured in New Jersey officially. And also, we uh, tend to analyze the productivity, the economic benefit, and also the environment uh, impact. From this uh, analysis, we, t we tend to give the conclusion on that side. And uh, the model basically, we are going to capture the biogas from the waste and the manure. And uh, for the remaining, remaining digester, we tend to capture the biofertilizer. And uh, for the landfilling and the, and the aerobic digestions here, we are using two equations to, to capture the biogas. In, ter in terms of, uh, of the methane. So from the first equations, the biogas, I need to mention that for the biogas um, in one filling and the an aerobic digester, the biogas is turned to consume on site. So the remaining part of the biogas will be converted into the electricity and uh, to sell to the grid. So the first equation gave the heating uh, generation uh, based on the methane, and the second equation will give you the electricity based on the heating, heating energies. And uh, the methane and their consumption we assume is 50% of the methane in the biogas through the all four models. So for the four, first model, the direct, uh, direct combustion uh, is generally used to generate the electricity from the biomass on large scales. And, uh, the efficiency of the generation of the electricity is highly based on the incinerator, the conditions of the feedstocks, so on and so forth, and also the temperature. So we assume you use this method to generate electricity, however, we don't have the biofertilizer by this method. So by the second method of the light filling, uh, we, up, uh, we do the simulation based on the upgradation with the gas recovery facilities and uh, it generates the electricity and the biofertilizer. And we use the model that was um, built up based on the EPA, and uh, it's the first order decay model introduced here. And the, for the third model, is the composting facility model, as known as the aerobic digestion. So this is the bio-oxidation process. So by this process, we don't have the electricity generation because we have full of the oxidation. And uh, this is the equation to turn to give you the uh, heat power energy production based on the time of the uh, time length. And it will give you the uh, energy generation. And uh, the energy generation here, I should give you an example, the temperature of the uh, process will tend to be like 60 degrees. So there is a little bit of, of the heat, however, the heat uh, only be used to heat the water and the space. So it won't be used to generate the electricity to sell to the grid. For the fourth method, this is the grid method. Um, this is popularly used to generate the biogas efficiently. And uh, the advantages, including the CO2 emissions, is significantly reduced, like, 25% to 67% less than the composting method introduced here. And also, it's better used for the high moisture content, and also it requires less space. However, as a drawback, first, uh, it requires a lot of the, I should say it requires the capital investment that's significantly higher than others. And also, the uh, the removal rate is lower and uh, the, it's less nutrient than the composting method. Um, we are using the first order kinetic model to produce the biogas as well as the digested. And the data we use turns to be New Jersey that we collect based on 18 different facilities 
as introduced here. And we have the livestock in, in regards to the manure in New Jersey. That data was captured by Eco Complex System in Rutgers University. And uh, we have all the chemical properties of the waste and manure. That means this data gave the components of the of the chemistries uh, in the feedstock systems and the cost. I in include the capital cost as well as the net income cost. From the data here, we can see that the direct comp uh, combustion and an aerobic digestion are giving the highest capital cost. As well, we can see that the direct combustion gives the highest opt operations and maintenance cost. This gave us the value that the terms tell us that for the anaerobic digestion model and also the direct combustion model, it gave the highest cost in uh, comparing to the landfill and the anaerobic, um, com aerobic digestion method. About the tipping fee, it's part of the revenue. For different areas, they have different tipping fees. So we give the list of the type 10 waste, including the food waste and manure. The tipping fee are different for different counties in New Jersey. And the revenue structure, we can see um, it includes three categories. First, tipping fee, electricity selling, and the digestive selling. So we can see the tipping fee are the same, because the amount will be the same for the stock. Uh, for, stock. for some component, uh, like an aerobic digesting, uh, it including a significant amount of the electricity cell because of the Biogas generation is significantly higher. However, for the composting method, we don't have the electricity cell, and the, for the combustion method, we don't have the uh, the, uh, the biofertilizer cells. And the net income is the uh, pure income after we remove uh, after we deduct the cost. So from here, we can see even we have the higher revenue in an Arabic digestion, but because, because of the higher investment cost, the net income is not always the, the highest. We see the lead filling gave the highest net income in regards to the biofertilizer and the biogas production. And we can see the negative income here for the combustion measure. It shows that this measure show, it gives the disadvantages of to treat the food waste and the manure. And uh, we can see the, in, actually in regards to the CO2 emission and the bio, uh, biogas generation and the aerobic digestion will be the better measure. In regards to the cost efficiency and uh, also the biofertilizer production, actually the composting method will be the better. In, uh, last but not least, the, the electricity generations, it gives uh, an aerobic digestion the highest uh, electricity generation because of the highest biogas production. And uh, from the data that we captured in New Jersey, that means with the feedstock, feedstock we collect in New Jersey in regards to the food waste and the manure, it can generate electricity to support nearly 10,000 number of household. And this is a significant of number and we can use actually use uh, the last me method, anaerobic digestion, to produce e electricity. And uh, this is the whole pre presentation. Thank you.